हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन स्टमिंग चैनल गाइस आई एम राम के सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर इन लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल आई शेयर दैट हाउ वी कैन इंटीग्रेट स्मार्ट फॉक सर्वर विद द यूनिटी सो इन टुडे ट्यूटोरियल व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट वॉट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंटरचेंज बिटवीन यूनिटी एंड सर्वर वॉट इज द प्रोसेस एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन यूनिटी your application with the server so we will learn this and if you are new in the channel so make sure to subscribe the channel and if you want to ask so just ask in the comment box if you want to provide any suggestion so just please drop in the comment box and don't forget to like the video because that will help me to reach more people like you who need to learn about the smart fox let's start the today video so first of all let me explain you that what will be the architecture and what is the basic concept you need to understand because logic language everything you will learn but first you need to understand the concept that how smart fox server because if you are beginner so that really need to understand that what is the concept and what is the things where you have to focus because when your concept will be, will be clear so all the server related work will be performed in a similar way so are you ready to learn this so yeah okay let me explain you so first of all i am not good in drawing so i have created one architecture that hope you will learn and understand so i will explain you and i'm guarantee to you that you will be able to uh, understand properly okay so first of all this is the unity means where we create our application so that is the front end where we create our design where we write the logic to integrate interact with the back end okay so this is the unity and this is the back end so basically when you use the sfs or any server kind of stuff so it's it depend on game that what part you want to be on the back end what part you want to be in unity but most of like you are when you are making casino type of game or cards type of game so most of stuff are on back end why back end because the casino type or cards type of game are the real time money and what the client wants that they want to manipulate the things like uh, when wheel rotate if client want it comes to be 10 or it's come to be 9 it come to be 6 so that number they can fix from back end and when they fix from back end so that number we will get and we so because wheel will be rotate in front of the in in application so we just stop the wheel on the 9 number or 8 number whatever the value we get from the back end so there is a third party also that i want to tell you so that you able to understand okay just a second so the third thing that is the back end unity and here what you can call it dashboard basically it is a website that give a data or or you can say a value to back end but this is the after the development means firstly back end and unity work and then after when client want to manipulate so back end is a is a coding stuff so client cannot change everything so they need dashboard where a proper website where they can fill data and that reflect in the back end and that back end sent to unity so this is the pro process of casino games how they works okay so what is a developer what we have to understand so we are unity developer we have to understand this part and this is the back end part and after the back end there is a php part or whatever they create the website their parts so back end involved with us as well as them okay so what is the process and what we have to learn so we have to learn basic things so from let's start from here so first 
for any server first step is that create the connection whatever you are working on the photon or you are working on the sfs you have to create a connection from your application to backend why do we need connection because when i'm connected to someone so at that time i can make a request i can get a response means i can communicate between them so first we need to connection and for the connection most of server like photon or sfs they use custom events okay so in sfs first we will use the custom event and what will be those event i will let you know and after the connection most of things provide the login why login and some of also take the login parameter in the connection but uh, some of after the connection they took so in sfs they took they took two logins first they they perform themselves means sfs means we have, have to perform a basic thing and second logic is for user manual like you where you enter your password id and then uh, verify on the back end and if you get the response means basically what happened that in logins you just provide id password and that's thing you send to the back end and back end verify that the user exist if user exists so what back end do back end just give you a response and when you get the response in response you verify that back end really verify it if back end verify so you let user get to another scene or another ui stuff or you allow user to login otherwise you show some message that you are not login and after the login means request and response start from the login but these steps are important after that this basics fundata play a very important role like request and response okay so for request and response basically these are the means whenever you perform the networking in the games they are the real time server real time server means whatever uh, happening means whole logic is running on the server and whatever happens you just get response immediately so http servers are very slow so that's why uh, in games we use the real time server there are request and response so for the request in photon as well as in sfs we use the custom event what are the custom events so custom events are those events custom events are those events who created by the back end means back end create a custom events what is the custom event custom event is a common way means i am just explaining in my words so that you can understand means you can search on the google they may be say the different words but meaning will be the same that events are a way means like what is the events i am saying the event is login so back end create a login event and why it is important it had gone so why it is important because in login when they have let's suppose back end created have one event that is the login and they told me that ramkesh uh, i have created one event that is the login so i told him okay so what i will do i will do uh, write a code to make a request to back end that uh, i am using the so what i will do i will use the login event and send some data in that event so back end will know that i am requesting on that particular event so let's suppose i am logging so in login event i am sharing id password and just request to back end so back end will know that i am requesting for login might be i am asking for a score but that score i cannot ask in login event because because login event is for login not for score for score back end have to create another event for score okay so when i will request with the login so they verify and they get trigger that i have requested for the login they write the code and then 
when request get so they got to triggered and then they verify and get the response to unity okay so some events basically uh, we make lots of custom events like login or log out or uh, just uh, reconnected with the server or whatever we perform like uh, room list or player numbers or player names so everything is a custom uh, and the backend create like let's suppose a, let's let me give you one more example so that get a clear let's suppose uh, i want to create a one room so backend i've created room create uh, event so whenever i request on room create so they just create one room okay so that is one more example of the event and another exam example is that i want to access the room list so they will create one just a second so they will create one event that is the room list and whenever i request on that event room list so they will give me a room list data and i will show to them in my ui in unity so you can ask me a few question like let's suppose we don't uh, uh, you can ask me that if you are not making any request to the backend so is it possible that backend senders response answer is yes if you don't want to request and backend want to send a particular uh, response so they can send you but if you are not receiving them because in unity what you have to do for the requesting you have to uh, read you have to write one method where you request on different different uh, events for the receiving response you have to also write a method where you are getting response on particular event so it is very important that if backend is creating any event so you as a unity developer you must know because if they are sending themselves any response without request so you will not able to receive them you will get the response but you will not get triggered so this is the things you have to understand and if there is any confusion so please watch the video again and you will get to know that what i have explained this basic concept so we will move on the scripting that how we are going to create the connection how we are going to log in how we will perform the request how we will accept the response in the sfs but but this is the basic architecture that works with all the server so what you have to do you have to remember this concept always in your whole life of game development or whatever you whenever you will create a server uh whenever you will create any kind of application that is work with the server okay so see you in the next tutorial i am just uh, stopping so that uh, tutorial not get that much big so see you in the next video and thanks for watching have a good day see you in next part